Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How y'all doing this morning? Happy Saturday to y'all. It is me, Mike D, a.k.a. DDE80, a.k.a. 13th Wonder of the World, a.k.a. Mike DZ. So happy to hear from y'all this morning. So happy to, to talk to y'all this morning. I know college football starts in about 30 minutes, so I'm not going to be on here that long. I just want to give a few recaps on some things. Shout out to the Point Place family. Shout out to my boy M. Breezy. Shout out to my little niece, Naya Naya. Shout out to my sister. I love all y'all. I love everybody. Thank y'all all for chipping in, coming in, seeing about your boy. Your boy was hectic yesterday. Had some things going on. I couldn't come on and talk to y'all, but I'm here this morning to talk to y'all about some things. A lot of things have taken place. My Astros, since I got a pull for them now, the Astros trying to tighten up and win, get back to the World Series over the Rangers, which is a great rivalry. I wouldn't be surprised if the Rangers did go to the World Series, but I think that it's Houston's time. I think Dusty trying to get them boys right. <laughs> and so we're going to see what happens with that also. The Phillies and the Diamondbacks are also in a – in a heated battle, um, the Diamondbacks want to try to stay in the mix, but, you know, the Phillies are saying, hey, hey, it is what it is. I got to get you out of here. So, you know, that's what's going on with them as well. Um, you know, and the Diamondbacks were able to survive the Phillies last night. And you know, get back in the series, even though everybody thought that the Phillies were going to go ahead and knock it out the box. But the Diamondbacks were able to survive. So shout out to the Diamondbacks for coming back, trying to survive and keep the uh, series going. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens because it could be the Texans and the Diamondbacks or it could be the Astros and the Diamondbacks. But a lot of people want to see the Astros versus the Phillies for the World Series. I I don't know yet. You know, that's that's a that's a a great possibility there, you know, that could happen. Uh I watched Impact Wrestling Thursday and I saw some a little couple of things on there. Uh I see Moose and Brian Myers, aka Kurt Hawkins are a tag team. Uh looking like they wanna do something. Uh the Bullet Club over there. They're trying to do what they got to do to try to become the tag team champions again. You know, Speedball, Mike Bailey, and um, was it, uh, I think it was uh, Kalisto, if I'm not mistaken. They got, he's, he has a new name in, uh, in Impact. They had a nice little, had a nice little match. Of course, we still seeing seeds between Mickey James and Trinity for Bound for Glory, which is coming up soon. Um, yeah, um, PCO and Rhino were, were teaming up. And, yeah, you see a lot of things happening in Impact Wrestling. And I'm telling you right now, guys, if CM Punk signs with these guys, and I want everybody to know this, their pay-per-view is in Chicago this year. Bound for Glory is going to be in Chicago. Every time a pay-per-view is in Chicago, with the other brands of wrestling, CM Punk pops up. When Collision first came back on, they were in Chicago. CM Punk came back to the company in AEW. When Chicago had a pay-per-view, well, excuse me, when they had Rampage on, I think it's like the early, the early days of Rampage, when they had the early th days of Rampage, and it was in Chicago, Chris Jericho was getting on Twitter, spoiling the moment, saying it's clobbering time. And man, when that show came on, it was one of the great, one of the greatest moments in AEW's history. When you heard that, -na 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 when you heard that 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 that, that cult of personality come out. CM Punk was there. That man had tears coming out of his eyes and everything. He was so glad to be back in professional wrestling. But now, AEW fires him after two years. 
But Bound for Glory Impact Wrestling, Bound for Glory's pay-per-view is in Chicago. If CM Punk has signed with them, that roof is going to blow off in that building. Because I told you guys before that, you know, that Impact Wrestling would sign CM Punk, excuse me, CM Punk in a heartbeat. They would not take any chances and sign him. If Impact Wrestling has signed him, because there's been there's been talks about him being backstage at Impact Wrestling events. If they signed him, you can best to believe that CM Punk will be the biggest draw in Impact Wrestling in a long time. I'm telling you. And plus, WWE has not let half of the wrestlers they release out of their contracts yet. Watch what happens, man. CM Punk versus Josh Alexander would be a great match. CM Punk and Moose would be a great match. CM Punk against Bully Ray would be a great match. CM Punk, Tommy Dreamer. CM Punk, Brian Myers. CM Punk, Matt Cardona. You know, CM Punk against PCO. You know, the 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 matches are unlim are lim it's unlimited, excuse me. CM Punk would have unlimited matches there in Impact Wrestling. And let me tell you guys this. In the early days of Impact Wrestling slash TNA, CM Punk was a wrestler in TNA. So him coming back there, if this is true, and if this happens at Bound for Glory, would be great for business. They would become a, a, a potential third, which they are a third brand, but they would be a hot third brand for the company because people are going to want to tune in on Tuesdays just to watch CM Punk to keep the eyes back on their product because a lot of people don't watch Impact Wrestling. There's people that watch it, but they don't watch other, other wrestling companies like I told you before. But I'm a guy, I, I don't watch Impact Wrestling like that anymore. They have some stars on there I like to see, but you got to get me invested like WWE and AEW has. So that's a that's a a nugget for the day as well about the return of CM Punk could possibly be in Impact Wrestling. I guarantee you, if he makes it there, if he's going there, people that has not watched Impact Wrestling in a while is going to start streaming it. And they're going to start watching it because they want to see what CM Punk is going to do. It's just that plain and simple. That's what it is. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say this uh, as well. Um, again, congratulations to the Aces for winning their second back-to-back -back WNBA title. Shout out to Candace Parker. Shout out to Kelsey Plum. Shout out to Jackie Young. Shout out to Alyssa Alexis Clark. Is that if I'm not if I'm saying her name right? Shout out to Asia. Shout out to uh to Becky Hammond. You know that team proved everybody the whole season that they were a juggernaut. Three peat is going to be very hard for them. I do think they can do it. I think the only team that's ever three peated is the uh the Comets when uh Cheryl Swoops, Tina Thompson. And the great um, uh, Cynthia Cooper was playing. Uh, and rest in peace to Kim Parrott, who died while they were winning championships. Um, they're the only team that's ever repeat, three-peated like that. So now Asian them has a challenge on their hand. And it's going to be hard to three-peat. It's hard to three-peat. You can get there, but it's hard to get back to winning again. The last team that did that was the Golden State Warriors back in 2019 when Kevin Durant and Steph Curry wrecked shop over my boys, LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, but they were able to get back there the following year because LeBron had left and went to L.A. And Toronto finally had got their chance with Leonard. And, you know, da Danny Green and uh, Kyle Lowry and Siakam and, you know, Mark Gasol and guys like that were able to win the championship. 
And a lot of people said if Kevin Durant wouldn't have gotten hurt, and it was injuries that injuries that cost the Warriors that championship that year. Because Steph Curry had put up 50 points in one game, and it was not enough to beat the Toronto Raptors. Iguodala saved them in game five by hitting a clutch three-pointer, a clutch shot. I think it was a three-pointer to make the series 2-2. But the Raptors had on their mind Leonard and Green and, and, and Siakam. And shout out to Fred because Van Fleet was very important in game six. Because he Vinny Johnson, those Golden State Warriors that year. And um yeah, the Raptors were a a juggernaut that year, and Golden State was, you know, on the outside looking in. And I'm I'm seeing the preseason was very exciting. You know, they kept Steph and them in the game the whole game, him and CP3 and Clay, and they were able to win the game over the Kings, you know. And the Kings are a good team this year. They're, they're projected to go back to the playoffs. So we'll see what happens when that starts up. Hopefully, hopefully, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that my boys, you know, can put up a fight this year. And I'm talking about not only the Lakers. I'm hoping that they can put up a fight and get back to where they were last year, and that's the Western Conference Finals. So... I have to see what goes on with that. Also, college football today. Going for LSU to win. Of course, I want them to beat the Army, the Army point team. Uh, Dion's off this week. They don't play against, they play UCLA next week. Um, also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the other uh, the other game is Michigan State versus Michigan. Man, they got us losing by 25 points today. They think that Michigan State is going to beat us by 25, folks. I'm praying to God that Michigan State put up a fight. I'm praying to God that Michigan State goes head on and close and make the gap a little closer. I'm praying to God that my team put up a, a great fight in this situation, and I'm hoping that we could beat these boys and pull up the upset. You know, that's what I'm hoping for. I doubt it, but I'm I'm hoping for the wish for thinking of that. I wish that we could. You know, Michigan right now is off their rocker because of what happened. They got caught with the cheating scandal. And you don't think that's going to take an effect on them? Of course it is. But not only that, ladies and gentlemen, also, Alabama plays today. Wow. Tennessee versus Alabama. Wow. Wow. I just say wow. Um, not only that, um, Rutgers in Indiana. Really? Rutgers. Really. Bo Nix and them play later. Uh, there's some great college football games on today. I hope everybody hits on their spreads. I hope that your money line hits. I hope that your player performance hits. You know, I hope all that you bet on, I hope that you can win today. I'm I'm praying that everybody be successful today. Uh Ohio State and Penn State start up start up at the top of the hour. Gonna be an interesting game. I'm hoping that Ohio State wins. Uh, Penn State's going to put up a fight. I don't think they're going to just blow Penn State out. I think Penn State's going to keep it close. But, you know, Marvin Harrison and them are going to try to go ahead and just put the coffin on the head and try to win the game. Ladies and gentlemen, Friday Night SmackDown was great last night. Um, had some great moments on there. It does look like that Solo and John Cena are going to fight at Crown Jewel. Um... I'm I'm thinking that that's going to be the match or is John Cena probably going to fight at on SmackDown cuz he hasn't had a a singles win in what 22,002 days on SmackDown. Um I'm hoping that he can, you know, get a match and win. Dragon Lee made his debut last night teaming up with Cameron Grimes but they lost to Waller and Theory. Those are going to be some guys, I think, that could possibly fight for the tag team titles. Um, 
Not only that, ladies and gentlemen, but I also want to talk about the other, you know, the other situation on SmackDown, the Bianca Belair returning, which was no spoiler. She was coming back real soon. Uh, EO Sky and Bailey, what I think is going to happen is that they're, they're probably going to team up Charlotte and, and Bianca to go up against EO and Becky. Bailey, excuse me, not Bailey, but Becky, excuse me, Bailey. I keep saying Becky. I'm talking about Becky Lynch, but I'm talking about Bailey, ladies and gentlemen, and damage control. That looks like that's going to be a tag match. I want to see when Bianca turns heel and joins with the Street Profits and Bobby Lashley. Montez Ford picked up a great victory last night. He cheated to win, but he pulled, he pulled out the victory. I will say this, Kevin Owens is going to start punching people out <laughs> from what he said. Uh, he's going to have some great matches on SmackDown, KO. I think KO is going to go up against, probably take out uh, Grayson Waller and them first. He's going to be fighting in, uh, in, in mid-card matches now since he's back on SmackDown. Like I said he was going to do, like I had vision he's probably going to do. Um... We're going to see some matches with KO, some some different matches KO's going to have now. He's never fought in Sheamus. That would be a great match, KO versus Sheamus. Uh, I think you put that, I think you booked that match at a pay-per-view or a special SmackDown. Uh, also, uh, Carlito's back full-time now, and I think it's going to be him and Bobby Lashley probably going to fight at Crown Jewel. There's going to be a lot of superstars that are not going to be at Crown Jewel. And I think the Intercontinental Champion is going to be one of them. I don't think Gunther's going to be at Crown Jewel, which is a shame because Crown Jewel could use an Intercontinental title match. We see that we're going to have a United States title match between Logan Paul and Rey Mysterio. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you this. 60% 60 of this out of 100 I'm going to say that Rey Mysterio is going to lose the United States title to Logan Paul. And I'm going to tell you why I say that. Because they want to market Logan Paul bigger than what he is and have him with the United States title. He couldn't win the world title, so now he's going to go for the United States title. If you go back to the big matches that Logan Paul has had, last year he was in the ring with Roman Reigns. He lost that title match to Roman Reigns. I told everybody that Logan Paul was going to get smashed by Roman Reigns. And that's exactly what happened. Roman Reigns smashed Logan Paul. Okay. Go back to Elimination Chamber Royal Rumble. He was in there. He cost Seth Rollins the United States title that Austin Theory had went and had the belt back. Okay. So you look at that and you say, wow, is that what we're doing? Okay, exactly. He lost the WrestleMania match to Seth Rollins. Now, if Seth Rollins would have been the world champion, he probably would have lost that match as well. So now he goes to the mid card. They're not going to put him up against Gunther, even though I think that Logan Paul could possibly beat Gunther if they were to put him in that match with Gunther. But because they're building Gunther to probably possibly win the Royal Rumble, which I'm thinking that he is, is either going to be him, Cody Rhodes, or L.A. Knight, or even Jey Uso. Those are my five. Those are my four picks that I think could possibly win the Men's Royal Rumble coming up in January. But I'm here to tell you, Logan Paul is going to be the United States champion. 60% out of 100% ratio believes that 40% believes that Rey Mysterio is still going to be the champion after crown jewel i do think that ray mysterio will lose to logan paul at crown jewel logan paul will possibly be the next united states champion now i will say this that means that he's going to have to pop up more on television to defend his title he may have a two-month reign or a little three-month reign with the belt but they're going to take the belt off him because He's not going to be like Brock Lesnar and hold the hold the, the the title ransom and hostage and all that garbage there like Roman Reigns is doing because he don't show up on, on, on SmackDown each week. 
You have to have, and this is the thing, you have to have a champion that shows up every week. Even if he's not wrestling, even if he's just on there talking, he's showing up to be on Raw or SmackDown, or NXT. Man, the incentives that these guys have. He's not a full-time wrestler. He's a part-time wrestler. Logan Paul lives. But they did say in this contract that he was due for a title, a championship run. So this could be the championship run that he has. You know, Rey Mysterio has been great as the U.S. champion. A Hall of Famer. U.S. champion. I don't think he's going to win any more titles if he loses this. I think that he's just going to be wrestling. You know, probably going to wrestle and do what he do. But I don't see Rey Mysterio winning any more tag team titles, folks. Also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, also, ladies and gentlemen, um, L.A. Knight and Roman Reigns has been confirmed for uh, Crown Jewel. We all know that Roman Reigns is going to beat L.A. Knight, but L.A. Knight's going to come out strong in this match. Even though he's going to lose, he's still going to come out uh, strong in the business. He's going to be strong with the situation. And uh, I think L.A. Knight's going to come I, what I would do, that would be the guy that I would take the United States title off of either Logan Paul or Rey Mysterio, L.A. Knight, because he's bound for a title push. He's not going to win the world title, but if he was to get traded to Raw, there's no doubt about it. He would be Seth Rollins or Gunther for their titles. I'm just telling you guys what I see, what the facts is, everything, you know. I'm I'm just, you know, letting you know that's what um what's gonna happen. But it's gonna be interesting to see. They're building it up straight. I do believe that it will be John Cena against Solo at Crown Jewel or uh, at a SmackDown. Jimmy Uso's bragging about costing his brother the tag team titles. His brother was on SmackDown. And he got fined $10,000 along with Adam Pierce being on there to jump on his brother, Jimmy. You know, like I, I keep telling you guys, we, we, we will see the match between Jimmy Uso and Jay Uso. That match is going to happen. That match could happen at Crown Jewel, brother versus brother. We'll see what happens when it comes out, you know. So, that's, you know, what I'm looking at. That's what I see so far. What I see right now, you know, um, also, I'm going to go over the Rampage results, and then I'm going to get off here and let everybody enjoy football. Um, Mysterio, which is the guy by the name of Sin Cara in WWE, he had a match, a two out of three falls match with Rocky Romero, who's a part of the Best Friends. <laughs> A great match between them. Excuse me, my sinus is running. That's why I don't like this type of weather at times. Sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's hot. And it just messes with my sinuses. Excuse me for that. Um, but Rocky Romero lost the two out of three falls match to, I call him Sin Car. Uh, great match that they had. Um so it's going to be John John Silver going up against Orange Cassidy uh, for the uh, AEW International title match. That probably will take place either on Dynamite or Collision. One of those. Also, Collision do come on tonight as well. But this is a great matchup that they have coming up. Johnny Hungy <laughs> versus OC. Great matchup. He won a, uh, um, a triple threat match that had Brother Zay and Kip Sabian in the match. Um, man, my stomach growled. I need to eat. Excuse me. Uh, Willa Yuta and Claudio, they beat some jobbers. Mm. I hope they're pumping them up to become the, the, to have a tag team title push. That's what I'm hoping that's going. Uh, Daddy Magic and Danny Garcia, they're still bickering at it. They might as well let them fight and get it out the way. Just let them have a title, uh, not a title match, but a one-on-one -on -one match and let them get that out the way, folks. You know, as they want to go up against the, uh, and, and 
the killer fact about that is they got to get together because I just remember they got to fight the acclaim and, 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 and daddy, you know what, for the trio of tag team titles, which they're not going to win because I tell you right now, the acclaim is just too hot right now. And you think they're going to take the belts off them? No. Sky Blue loses to Rudy Soho. Uh, as you saw, Paige and them tried to jump on her. And Chris Stanlander came out the TBS champion. And Sky Blue is starting to do the Julia Hart thing. Because the Miss Bray now, she's slowly turning into a heel, folks. Watch over the next couple of weeks. You'll see what I'm talking about with Sky Blue. She is going to become Sky Black, which I don't want to disrespect her name, Lord David, because I think I know, I think one of those adult fin women name, woman name is Sky Black. I don't want to disrespect Sky Blue's name like that, but I'm telling you, the way that she's acting is a part of the House of Black. But we'll see in the future what happens. You know, and and that was the main event because Rampage always have the ladies matches as the main event. So it's good to see that, you know, tonight is AEW Collision. They don't have to worry about fighting with WWE at a pay-per-view night. So they should be good tonight uh, as well. Also, ladies and gentlemen, before I go, I want people to know that, you know, Everything is what it is. Everything it is what it is. And you guys have a great day. Remember, you're here for a purpose. I'm out. Enjoy your college football today. Like I said, I pray and hope that your spreads hit where you can get your little change out of it. But until then, I'm Mike D. I'm out. Have a great day. <laughs> there you go in breezy got you again buddy see y'all later